need me, I'll be underneath here every single day for 30 minutes because I'm committed. My house always looks a mess. It's like never <laughs> presentable for you. Let me just move some stuff out of the way because I have dishes. This is real life situation. Voila, and it is finally on the wall. Yeah. Look at this. It's just a little appetizer. I did some jicama and a wonderful chili lime blend. Also some watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> just so everyone knows. Why are you gonna call me like that? <laughs> okay, I made margaritas. So as you can tell, we're a little bit sober. So guess what everyone, Scout fam. I just got the most amazing package. I did spend my own coin on it, but remember Joanna Check, who was like slapping me up in my face? Basically after she abused me, her and I really bonded. Sounds like a toxic relationship, but it's actually the other way around. So anything she tells me to buy, I will buy. So she has been using like this red LED, well these LED lights on my face. And I've been looking for one, but I've been looking for like the creme de la creme. So she's been using this one on me and it also duels as like if you have pain, whether that be anything from all of your body or maybe you have period cramps, etc. This is supposed to be everything. And it also is going to illuminate your face. When I say glow skin, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna be your nickname after using this. So I'm gonna try and document this whole process. And I'm gonna do it for four weeks straight, every single day. You're allowed to use it every day, every 24 hours. And it just completely rejuvenates. It's like rejuvenating light therapy. NASA used this in space because they found that their astronauts, if they were bruised, they weren't healing properly in space. So they came up with this, which helps you heal at a much faster rate. So it produces collagen in your skin and it really turns over those cells. Am I selling you yet? If you need me, I'll be underneath here every single day for 30 minutes because I'm committed. Especially because this costs the price of a handbag. So if I'm not gonna be able to rock that handbag every day, I'm gonna use this into the ground. And if anybody gets hurt in my family, they're gonna be up under this as well. So we're gonna get our money's worth. I got the Saluma Pro. This is what we're looking like when you open it. You're gonna have a Saluma user manual. Um, as you can see, we got the creme de la creme one. Don't mind the nails, sorry. Let's jump into this. So we have the power supply cord here. And it comes with, if you guys are in Europe, it comes with all different types of outlet plugs. So this is for the American plug. How do we plug this up? I'm gonna put that in here. Oh, voila. You never know, we might be traveling to Europe and we're gonna have to bring this with us because this is essential. Okay, so we have a, a warranty, which says limited, so how long is that? <laughs> Maybe a year or so. All right, so we'll put that there. Here we go, it comes with a set of goggles, which you are going to need when you are sitting underneath the LED light. Dang, they couldn't put it together. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to put them together. And then let's jump into here. I'm not very like um, graceful when it comes to opening packages. Here, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this guy out. Okay, this went in the wrong way. Let's try this again. This has got to be an easier way to open this box. This is crazy. Here we go. So this is what we're working with. I think we have to plug it in. Um, do not lie on top of it or place weight on the Saluma. So it has a very flexible, bendy top. So it, how you're supposed to use it is, it is once you turn it on, it goes around the head like so. If you're having back pain, shoulder pain, you can actually just go ahead and place it any way you want. It folds around like, you know, the back. So it's, it's really nice that it is flexible. And then let's check out the settings. So it has three different settings. 
and then you can do the mode here so you have an acne setting your wrinkle setting and then your aches and pains and the reason why it has these different settings is because it's different colored light now i have not yet tried this these are the things that i have read online i literally did all my research before making this purchase actually joanna just told me to buy it <laughs> then i did my research because anything she tells me to buy i'll just buy i'm influenced so i just want to show you that and then um we can get started later on today and I'll set up the camera and show you what it looks like because I'm going to use this before I go to bed. This is the look that we're going to wear for this evening. This is by the new um, creative director for Fendi, Kim Jones. And these are the shoes. These are the shoes, ladies and gentlemen. These mm -hmm. are vibe. They're not my size, but we're going to wear them. 37. Are you 38? Yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, that's okay. My heel is hanging bad. off the back, but that's fine. Could be worse. Oh, could be worse. These are so cute. What do you guys think about these? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I just want to highlight my feet are ashy. <laughs> Times are hard. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to wear that tonight because tonight we're going to create some content at Fendi, darling. Hold on. I'm over here burning. Burning food. The shrimp is not done. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what happened with these potatoes because you would judge me. Well, I'm not going to say anything. But we're going to eat. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, stay tuned for the final product of lunch. Stay tuned always looks a mess it's like never presentable for you let me just move some stuff out the way because i have dishes this is real life situation well you know we eat food here leftovers honey leftovers so i did chickpeas quinoa sweet potato avocado and there's a little shrimp and i have these um spicy shrimp and some salad so for the salad dressing Please don't bank on me for tablespoons or measurements. It's not how I roll. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Dijon mustard. This is actually not Dijon mustard. This is horseradish mustard. Mm. I usually use Dijon mustard. I don't have. So we'll use the next best thing. Next, we're gonna take out a lemon squeezer out of the, the, the sink. We're gonna Wash rinse it. that off. <laughs> because only lemon was in it, don't worry. It's not really sitting in anything too, so. All right. Then we're gonna put some lemon. Squeeze that in there. We don't want too much lemon, okay? Let's just say that's about just some lemon. I don't know how much. <laughs> then we're gonna do some olive oil. That looks good. Salt, onion powder. These are probably my two favorite spices. Onion powder I can't live life without because it just makes everything delicious. And salt, like, and Puerto Rican. Everything needs salt. Everything. My grandma used to say, where's the salt? It's not salty enough. Where's the salt? It's not salty enough. So now I have that same problem. Now what we're gonna do is, is this too big? We're gonna whisk it. Look at that. Yum. Maybe I put a little bit too much porch fresh, but don't worry about it. And then after that, we just take that and we put it on top of our salad bowl. And leftovers becomes fancy, just like that. Hi! Guess what, guys? What? I got into the Fendi outfit. I'm here with Ali. We are creating some magic in the new Fendi store. And we are taking a look at whose collection today? Kim Jones. Kim Jones, first collection for Fendi, and it is stunning. The outfit I'm wearing feels like butter, darling. Feels like, as a New Yorker would say, feels like butter, you know? So uh, let's walk around the store and let me show you a few beautiful things. All right, so here is the outfit that I am wearing, the silk pants and um, this beautiful top. Can we get into the cufflinks? I'm so obsessed with the cufflinks, uh, the bag, and the wonderful detail on the heels. 
it literally feels like butter. But let's take a look at some of the collection today. Also, I'm wearing a necklace very, very similar. Look at these trousers. So I saw all of this digitally. Coco is wearing this jacket today. Hopefully we can take a look at her. These are the shoes that I'm wearing except the black ones. Here is my outfit. Love the crop. And then this sweater ensemble two-piece is also very beautiful. This shirling jacket. How beautiful. Yeah, Sally, thank you for modeling that for us. All right, get into this vibe. We are in the dressing room. Hey, Allie, oh, my girl Allie in here, helping me create magic. But this is such a fabulous dressing room. Guys, the marble. I'm just here for the marble. The marble is so good. This is such a beautiful, beautiful store. So this is the VIP dressing room. All the ladies are here. Ami is here. Coco is here. Look at these. I'm like literally all the decor and everything. Uh, this is not Fendi. This is Fendi. So beautiful. It's like because I can't have a dog. Right? Oh, these sunnies are vibe. When you have the whole Fendi store to yourself, you need to try items on. <gasps> Love those, Allie. I am so edgy. <laughs> I can't take you. I can't take you. And then the jewelry. So I'm wearing this necklace now. And then all of these are really, really pretty. Look at these tiny little peekaboos. Look how small they are. I am a sucker for mini bags. So their new store is absolutely stunning. I think I'm gonna take a selfie here. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, shall we, darling? We shall. Oh, also, congratulations, Allie is a homeowner. She just closed on her first apartment in New York City. So congratulations. That is a really, really big deal to own a piece of real estate Thanks. in 11 miles of Manhattan. So when's the housewarming party? Coming up soon. Let's get her a coffee maker and she doesn't drink coffee. Her coffee. I'm aware. I'm naturally this happy and energetic. She really is. These trousers, though. <laughs> Like every single piece. These are leather. Wow. Wow. This is phenomenal. Everything here is wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. We are in Hermes today and I'm with my baby daddy. He's doing some shopping and I am just here for moral support. <laughs> Hold on, let me close this door. <clears throat> I don't even think I'm supposed to be recording in here, so this is going to be very brief, but I'm here for some moral support. I'm not getting anything today unless they have a bag, but I don't think that's going to happen. What happened to my positive vibes? But nevertheless, we're in the store in Meatpacking District and kind of just hanging out. Look at him with his Hermes on. Yes. Hi. Fancy seeing you here an orange voila and it is finally on the wall and it looks fantastic let's get like a a wider view of what is going on and then 
See, I feel like it, it was just like made for this wall. The perfect piece. I'm so happy. So happy. Thank you so much, guys. This is amazing. Hello, happy Friday. And when you see this tomorrow, it's gonna be happy Saturday. Today, welcome to my kitchen. Some of my family is coming over before they go back to LA. They came over earlier this week. Was it the weekend? But I ended up not vlogging and I wish I did because we ended up having so much fun. Someone got drunk, wasn't me. But she has the same name as me, so. Since everybody's coming over today, Friday, I went ahead and um, put some water into the pool. So we have to show you the pool. You know, we have two pools, don't be jealous. Always grate your own cheese for cheese sauces. Store-bought cheese have anti-caking agents which don't melt, so can give the sauce a slightly powdery texture. So, I'm trying to hurry and cook something, and I'm making mac and cheese, but I wanted to make kind of like a different recipe. I don't know why I'm trying to experiment when I'm just like, let me just go back to easy. May told me never buy the store-bought cheese inside the packs that's already shredded because it has like this wax on it. And then this just confirmed what she was saying. So I made her shred all of this cheese. We bought like a regular cheese and she shredded everything. But anyway, what was I saying? Hold on. And now I am going to grill. I don't know if I told you guys this last time, but my husband got this barbecue grill and I swore it was like a universal men's thing where like all men know how to grill. And my husband's like, yeah, I can grill. Of course, I'm gonna grill. I haven't seen him grill one time since we bought it. Like, I don't know how to barbecue, but I kill it, okay? I've learned how to do it last summer, and I'm like, are you ever going to barbecue or not? So it's just me, so I'm just gonna make some vegetarian food today, and uh, we're all gonna just hang out and chill. I have two more weeks before I go on holiday, and I cannot wait. Wait, where is, I, I just feel like I'm a mess right now. <laughs> okay, mac and cheese is in the oven. Let's put on that light. Yes, it looks good, queens. And now we are going to make, we have to make the veggie burgers. So we have some mushrooms. The rice is already made. We're gonna put that in a food processor with some other things. I'm gonna make some pickled onions. These are bomb. This slaps, okay? So this is what we're gonna need. Half cup of apple cider vinegar. Now you're gonna need two tablespoons. Actually, we're gonna only do one tablespoon of maple syrup. Let me get the maple syrup. Wait till you see the maple syrup. This is the maple syrup. <laughs> now, you probably have so many questions. But the thing is, I only get my maple syrup once a year at this place that we get our organic Christmas trees. <laughs> It's like a little family farm and we support them every year and they do amazing maple syrup out of Vermont. And this thing, one gallon lasts me the entire year. You're probably asking me, why won't I put it in another small jar? I don't have an answer. I don't, I think I like to do things the difficult way or something. I love this maple syrup, it's delicious. So December is when we re-up. But the fact that this lasts all year, so we're gonna do one tablespoon of this. Always put your hand underneath if you're using a bottle <laughs> this size, just in case you have any spillage. Oh, okay. Syrup is so expensive. No, Maybe 60 sounds right. 60 or 65. But if you think about it, if you get quality maple syrup, it's gonna cost you $15 for like a tiny little 12 ounce jar. Exactly. So this ends up making sense for us. Now we're gonna do some salt to taste. I love salt, so I like to taste it. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and add um, one cup of water to this, right? Don't worry, this is New York's finest. It's the best water. So that's it. This is all we need to make the pickled onions. It's actually very, very simple. We're gonna make some seeds here. Ooh, that's hot. So you're just gonna boil that not too much, just you know enough that you see a little boil. We're going to add it to this jar, and then you let it sit until it cools, and then you can put it in the fridge. And that's it. And then you have the best damn pickled onions ever. You can put them on top of everything. Burgers, eggs, salads. Tacos. Tacos. Anything. <laughs> I'm making the burgers. I'm gonna drop a link to the recipe in the description box, but I've made these burgers like 
three times over the last week. So we were just like... They're all vegetarian. Actually, everything in here I think is vegan, so actually. There's no dairy, no eggs, no nothing. And they are absolutely delicious. Delicious. My family's here. This is Liv. Hi. Other side. That's little side. Hi, I'm Big Sai. Welcome to this channel. <laughs> Mac and cheese is done. This is what you guys saw me like struggling with earlier. Um, oh, this is delicious. No, I'm little yeah. Sai. Little Sai made from the guac and chips. That's some Look at this. It's just a little appetizer. I did some jicama with lime and a wonderful chili lime blend. Also some watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> just so everyone knows. Why you gotta call me out like that? Okay, I got it from Trader Joe's season aisle. It's like the best seasoning. Goes on margaritas, which I'm about to make, and it's so good. I got my lovely, um, what do you call them? Not cutlery. Um, silverware? No, this is not silverware. Plasticware? No, China, my fine China. This came from a very special place called CB2. Very exclusive. And then I'm just gonna serve everyone just like a nice summer situation. Come outside with me. Let me show you what I have on the grill. So here is the mac and cheese. Obviously, it's looking a little dried up now because it is no longer hot. Our potatoes are pretty much done. All right, look at those. Look at that crisp. That is Cajun. Some people like it like that, and that's okay. That is okay. Don't worry about a little, you know, Cajun potato. These are our veggie burgers. Now, they're usually a lot better, but I'm not going to lie to you. They're a little bit sticking to the pan. Totally my bad. But do you see how they kind of look like meat? This is a vegan Worcestershire sauce. Don't get too close, guys. I don't want to burn you. It's hot in the hot tub. It's hot. It's so hot in the hot tub. Can you name where that's from? Okay, and then for the corn, we're going to do a butter sauce in a nice elote coating. Also a seasoning I found at Trader Joe's. The Trader Joe's seasoning aisle is just bomb. Hot situation, hot situation. Situation that is hot. So I am just finishing up in the kitchen. I've made a hot mess, but luckily my husband will clean it up. So, um... What we need to touch base on, I'm definitely gonna to touch base on the Saluma. I'm gonna keep you posted about it. It is day three of the Saluma. Um, I actually have to do it tonight as well. I do it for 30 minutes every night, but I wanna do a, like a complete skin transformation and hopefully May will do it with me. We have two different skins and she's a lot younger than me or I'm a lot younger than her. You know, we're gonna come back to the Saluma. If you have questions about it, definitely drop them down below. Let's see what else. Oh, last week, well, Wednesday's video was a hard, sad, intimate video. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your comments, your DMs on Instagram, your comments here on YouTube. Unfortunately, I could not respond to all of them, but I tried to read as many as possible. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And um, I think that's it. So I'm just gonna hang out with the family and um, get out of this kitchen. And guess what? It's margarita time. It's margarita time. Yeah. I am glowy and the reason why I'm glowy is because I'm using the Saluma so I have to say it is working <laughs> the whole time <gasps> oh my okay I made margaritas so as you can tell we're a little bit sober we're a little bit sober but it is Friday night, it is lit, it is cousin night, and we are chilling in the backyard getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Technically, I'm actually not getting bitten, but everyone else is. Oh, is everybody going inside? I think it's because the music is inside. Oh, so bring the speaker. We should bring the speaker just outside. Everybody will come back outside. <laughs> Why did everybody leave? Wait, hold on. London! The shade. It be your own family. It be your own family always. Guys, look what happened to the pool. We had to take all the water out because somebody peed in the pool. No, I'm kidding. Oh. She's lying. <laughs> That's a good story, though. That is right. And it was an adult. It was 
An elder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's time to say goodbye. I think it's time for an outro, guys. So, thank you for hanging out with me today. And think we're a vibe subscribe. If you think <laughs> I'm screwed, if you think I'm a vibe. Scout the city. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> every media platform. All across every social media platform. Pinterest, YouTube. Including YouTube. Grindr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on Grinder, okay? I'm obviously not. He is though. What's your profile? <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> What's your profile handle so people can find you? Sky417. <laughs> <laughs> I, yo, I have never used one. Hi. I don't need that. I it's missed you. Guys, don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and guess what? Who are you? We will see you next week. Love ya. Yeah,